Hi, I'm Connor. Today I'm going to show you how to play with your knob. <laughs> knob comes pre-mapped to work perfectly as a media controller, with volume on the dial and media control keys on the three buttons. If that's not what you're looking for, that's fine. It's easy to remap using the VIA online web configurator. Before we start, if you have any problems or any questions, don't hesitate to reach out through the Discord or through our email. This video is a companion to the instructions page that can be found in the description. Feel free to follow along there as we go through. We're going to start by opening the instructions page. Let's hop in. You should now see this page. Go to the customizing your knob section and click download this via.json file. We'll use this in a later step. Next, connect your knob to your computer and right click this hyperlink and select open link in new tab. Go ahead and navigate to the new tab and go to the settings page. We're going to check the show design tab box. Now click here to go to the design tab and select the load button. You're gonna load in that file that you downloaded earlier. Finally, go to the configure tab and click authorize device. Select your knob from the pop-up menu and click connect. Okay, your knob is now ready to be configured and you can move on to the next step of remapping. So before you start with remapping, you're going to want to find the shortcuts that you need to change your knob to. As an example, I'll be remapping my knob with a few shortcuts for editing in DaVinci Resolve. I found a list of shortcuts online and decided to remap my keys to set mark in, razor, and set mark out in my dial to step one frame forward and step one frame backwards. Due to a quirk with VIA, remapping keys is handled differently from remapping the dial. I'll start with how to remap the keys. Select the key you want to remap in the knob graphic and then select your desired key from the VIA library. For example, if I want this left key to be remapped as I, I click on the key and then I'd click on I. I'll do the same thing with the right key. I'll click on the rightmost key and then I'll click on O. Now, those are both remapped for the in and out in DaVinci Resolve. Now, the center key is going to be a little more difficult because we need to remap it to Control B. So to send a modified key code, you have to enter it into VIA in kind of a special way. Go to the Special tab, select your center key, and now scroll to the bottom and select Any. You can now enter the key code that you want to go here. I'll type C for Control, parentheses, KC, underscore B. Now, the C is the modifier Control. You can also put G for Command, S for Shift, or A for Alt Option. Don't worry, this is the closest you're going to get to coding. It's a lot easier from here. So now we're done with the keys. Let's move on to the dial. So we're going to have to remap it a little bit differently than we did the keys. It's actually going to be a lot like the center key. So go ahead and click on the dial and this will pull up your two options. Okay, so I'll start by clicking on the counterclockwise option and I'll enter KC left for the left arrow. And then I'll enter KC right for the right arrow or KCRGHT. All these key codes can be found from the instructions. I have a list of all the possible key codes. You can also go back to the key map here and hover over them and you'll see a key code that shows up in the bottom left. Okay, so your DOM3 map now and it should be good to try out. So let's go ahead and open DaVinci Resolve and give it a shot. Okay, so I've got a edit open and I'm gonna try move it around with a knob dial. So I'm scrolling here and it's moving back and forth. That's working exactly as I expect it to. And if I hit the center button, I can cut. Yep, that's perfect. And then if I hit the left button, that sets my in, great. And then if I hit my right button, that sets my out. Yep, that works perfectly. Now, the scrolling is a little bit slow. So I'm gonna go back to VIA. And if I go to my knob customization options, I can change the encoder sensitivity here to change how fast that scrolls. If I go to the left here, it should scroll a lot faster. So now if I scroll, it moves much further per one rotation of the knob. Now, if you lower the sensitivity too much, it can cause problems by overwhelming your computer with keystrokes. So keep that in mind. All right, now for smooth scrolling, I'll show you how to get started. It's really easy. So go back to the customization tab here and then click enable smooth scroll. 
From here, you have a few options you can select to change how the scrolling works. If I leave it as is, I can go to another page and I can scroll. And here you can see all the DaVinci key codes I pulled from. Now let's say you wanted horizontal scroll. You can go back here, click on this one and click on horizontal. If I go to DaVinci, I can scroll horizontally with that. It doesn't scrub, it just scrolls. And finally, lighting. Go to the lighting tab and you can click here to change the color or you can change the effects and the brightness. All right, that's it. That's all it takes to remap your knob. If you have any questions or need help with anything, reach out through the knob discord or through email. I would be happy to help you. All right, enjoy.